So hello everybody, it's your beauty 87 here and today we're going to talk about side chick makeup. So I know you're like, what the hell is side chick makeup? Okay, so you know how you have your main products, your go-to products that you love. And then when you run out of them, you find something in your collection that is somewhat similar that gives the same effect. But you just feel like that product does it the way no other product does it. So that's what I mean by side chick makeup. It's basically like, you know, I like you, you good and all that. But it's like, if I had to choose, I'm going to choose this product over this. But since you here and that product and ran out, we just don't go ahead and you know ride it out with you till we can go get that um you know product that we've been using before that's like no other so that's what side chick makeup is so i'm doing part one well this is part one but you're gonna see it as part two because i figure you would rather see the eyeshadow palettes that i pick as side chick makeup first so i'm gonna do those first but i'm actually filming this today and i'm gonna film the eyeshadow ones tomorrow because the majority of the ones i like obviously are gonna be at my house and i want to show you the product and then show you the similarities as far as color stories and all that and explain why i feel like that product is better over the other product but anyway let's get started with what i have here now so i'm gonna get started with the stuff that um i'm not sure if it's going to be permanent i know a couple of them are discontinued so my bad on that but um i think they still have the same formula it was just for a limited edition collab or they got rid of that product and changed it for something else so let's start with that so everybody loves this makeup forever matte velvet skin um blurring powder foundation mine is in, of course the shade y505 because i appreciate makeup forever and they're like a few other brands that like just keep the same number shade like the foundation i have on right now from smashbox i wear 425 and this one and the new one and all of the smashbox foundations but anyway so this powder is amazing i really love it as you can see it has a little dent in it i don't know if you can see but i use this quite often and i love this powder however if I ran out of this powder because it's so high, I believe this is $38. And I feel like that's kind of high for a powder foundation because you still have to put a liquid on and concealer and all that. So that could easily be $100 just on the face if you buy one of their foundations and then their concealer as well. So, like when, um, and mine is old and dirty and beat up and they don't make this anymore. So excuse the dirtiness of it. And I feel bad mentioning this, but it's like, you know, it is a backup for that in my opinion. It is the Super Stay Better Skin, um... What is this skin transforming powder with salicylic acid? I really liked this, especially when I first started making it because my acne was way worse than it is now. I have the shade, of course, 95 Coconut, but this powder to me does the same thing that that powder does. And I think Casey Holmes put me on this powder, if I remember correctly, along with the Makeup for Everyone. And I feel like they're actually pretty similar, but you can't get this one anymore. So I was going to do a comparison video, but I'm like, we're not even going to be petty like that because y'all can't get it no more. As you can see, I love mine. It is quite dirty and disgusting. Y'all saw the front of it is dirty and disgusting. So like, if I ever run out of this powder, this is going to be my go-to. And sometimes I still use this over this just because I don't want to run out of this before the summer ends because I think this is the only foundation powder I have over here that is like high-end the rest of them are at home so this is the main chick this is the side chick <laughs> next <laughs> in my lily voice no um <laughs> so the derma blend um loose setting powder in the color warm saffron i heard tiff jeff talk about this on youtube and i bought it during 21 days of beauty because y'all know this is always on sale during 21 days of beauty this is like a staple thing that's just always on sale and i actually really love this powder after i tried it out and the color is beautiful and it just looks beautiful on the skin however if i ran out of this before 21 days of beauty came around again i would not be repurchasing it because it's kind of high and i have something else in my collection that's similar that's my side chick so if i ever run out of this again i and there's no 21 days of beauty sale i will be using the maybelline fit me powder and 30 medium deep and this powder does pretty much the same thing i mean it doesn't I feel like it doesn't look as beautiful on the skin. It looks nice. I actually have it underneath my eyes right now to give you an idea of what it looks like. So it's not like it's a bad product. It's a great product, and this one is way cheaper. I tried to pick alternatives that were cheaper, too, for those people who don't want to spend the high price or they have spent the high price and want to find something comparable because, you know, times are harder right now. That's another reason I'm putting this video out. But, um, yeah, so... I feel like this is just about the same. I feel like that powder is just slightly better. But, I mean, this is good enough to wear. Um, this is my main chick. And this can be my side chick. So, you know, here you go. <laughs> the next thing I have is some primers. Now, I didn't bring the full size of this primer here. But I did get a sample of my Sephora um, B.I.B. haul. Which I finally finished filming, like, today. Um, this is my Milk Hydro Grip this is my sample size and y'all know auntie jackie's been raving about this for like 
over a year now i think it's a very nice primer too i don't use it nearly as often as i should but that's because i have so many other primers and i just prefer the tatcha one because at the end of the day i want it to be blurred out especially since we can't go nowhere right now why does it need to grip to my face perfectly we're not gonna waste it on that we're gonna waste it when we can go outside again you know i don't need to it grip into my face just to go to the grocery store thank you so much but anyway my back my side chick for this product is the um elf jelly pop do um primer i'm pretty sure they still have this on their website even though they're really trying to push that tatcha silk canvas dupe that they got the putty whatever i actually didn't like that i like this one though so that's why i'm mentioning this because this is definitely my side chick i usually that's why it's here at my grandma's house because if i have hydro grip at home i don't really need both of them there i like to leave my dupes at my grandmother's house and like leave my high-end goodies at home where i do my makeup the majority of the time but this is the main chick and this is the side chick and i believe this one is only eight dollars whereas i think this one is like 30 so that's helpful um the next thing i have let's see i got a couple of concealers and believe it or not you probably will be shocked at the way i do one of these concealers so i'm gonna start with that one so um this l'oreal infallible full wear what they call it full wear more than concealer concealer i have the color um 415 honey um, I tried this. I actually really like this concealer. I don't give it as much love as I should. I won't even front, but it's a really great concealer and it's only like 10 bucks. So I really like it for its price point as well as the fact that it actually performs quite well. I like the CoverGirl one that's in a, a tube similar to this as well, but both of those are at my house. And I have like three of those because I like to spot. I had to get a new concealer to spot conceal with. So I forgot to try that one because they had gave me a whole bunch of coupons at CVS. So I think I got it for like three bucks, even though it's like a the 11 to like 13 dollar price point concealer but anyway we're talking about this one this one i believe is about that same price so like 11 to like 13 depending on where you buy it from and um believe it or not the high end one is the backup so the tart shape tape like if i didn't have the l'oreal one and i had this i would use it but as we all know it's sharp Heart shape tape is really drying underneath the eye, which is to me why it's the side chick instead of the main chick. And even though it's the high end one, it's still the side chick because it's so drying underneath your eyes. So, believe it or not, L'Oreal is the main chick and Tarte is the side chick. So, I mean, that one might not be that helpful, but that's just my personal opinion on that one. And I had to throw it in here since I have both of them. Okay, so... Now, I know how I feel about my Giorgio Armani Power Fabric Concealer in the shade 8.75. This concealer is amazing. It feels nice and it feels kind of hydrating underneath the eye. It's not really drying. It smooths out the under eye and makes it really nice and bright. And I really like this concealer. But if I did not have this concealer, because I bought a backup of this during the um, sale, I forgot to put it in all my haul videos. I don't know how. But anyway, I, um, I really like this concealer. But if I did not have this concealer, I would use this Iconic London, what is this, um, Seamless Concealer in Deep Tan. You all actually really liked the video when I came out with this, I guess because a lot of people, my skin tone wasn't checking for Iconic London's concealer or using it. But I was intrigued by it and wanted to try it, so that's one of my more popular videos. I'll try to remember to link them above or in the description box below all the videos of all the stuff I have on this because I think I have videos on quite a few of these things now that I think about it. Um, but yeah, I think this, oh God. I think this concealer was $23 or something. And, you know, the Giorgio Armani one, I think it's like $34 or $38. So it's a little bit less, not a whole lot less. But you can use code Babs Beauty and get a discount on this. I think you get 20% off when you use Babs Beauty's code. I'm not sure. Don't quote me. I know I used her code to... I don't know why I can't hold this concealer. I used her code to buy this concealer. And it's not a bad concealer, but like I said, since I'm, you know, I'm a stand for my Giorgio Armani power fabric, like, that's why she's a side chick. It's nothing wrong with her. She just, you know, on the side, waiting for Giorgio Armani to, you know, run out. So, main chick, side chick. Next, um, I got a couple of lip products, and then we'll be done with this video. And then, like I said, tomorrow I'm going to do the eyeshadow palettes because I feel like that'll be more interesting, especially since I'm known for making, like, hella eyeshadow videos. Okay, so I can't th show this one right away because I'm actually testing this product right now. But spoiler alert, this is the Wayne Goss The Essence Lip Pencil. I have the color Sepia. Um, I had it swatched on my hand, but I wiped it off, so let me re-swatch it real quick so y'all can see what the color looks like. Now, these aren't exact color dupe maxes, but I feel like these uh, formulas of these are pretty similar. And um, one of them is from e.l.f., so you already know it's going to be way cheaper than the one we talking about. Um, but yeah, this lip pencil feels beautiful on the lips. It goes, glides on like a dream. 
feel like it gives nice color payoff. I haven't tried it all over the lips yet, so do not quote me as far as that goes. But I feel like it would look nice filled in all over the lips and then a nice like lip gloss or liquid lipstick over it, depending on what color you use. This product is beautiful. I really like it and I'm quite impressed. So that's why I had to mention it. But um, if I did not have that, because those just came out and they already sold out on the website. Like I went back half an hour after I had bought mine and like they had no lip pills let it's less you bought the whole set but i have the elf and nubella noir lip pencil i don't know what the color what is the color of this one it's called something nude um but this is the elf one right here and that is the wayne goss one but you know this lip pencil feels really nice and creamy and smooth on its own as well too and this one y'all know how elf is i believe their lip pencils are like four dollars or something so this is amazing. Now, I don't know if this is limited edition, but I mean, I know this is limited edition, but I'm saying I don't know if they have other lip pencils. I don't check for Elf when it comes to lip pencils. I usually just buy the Wet n Wild, you know, like those gel glide on ones that they have. I really like those, but um, we're trying to talk about actual wooden pencils, which is why I spoke about this one. But this is the main chick, and this is the side chick. Like I said, it's nothing wrong with this one. It's just the Wayne Goss one is, you know, my preference. So, you know, magic, side Um, Next, we have the Artist Couture Lip Glosses. I have the shade, uh, what is this, um, Uncensored 2.0. So, if y'all remember, I did, the, I bought the little kit during the um, Sephora sale on my birthday. And it came with the little um, eye glosses. He came out with the little um, diamond powders for your eyes or whatever. And then um, this gloss came with it. So, I tried this gloss and it was amazing. I was like, oh, okay. I see you have with these glosses because I had never tried any of his lip products. I had just tried, you know, Jackie's highlighter set and that was it. But this lip gloss is amazing. They actually saw it out of this during the um, Sephora VIB sale and I didn't check to get another one because I was like, I have a whole bunch of glosses and I usually just stick to my Pat McGrath ones. But this is a really nice formula if you don't want to spend the Pat McGrath price or the Hourglass price because I recommend those as well. But um, this, let's focus on this. I'm telling myself, not you. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so this gloss is really, really nice and I really like it. However, if I didn't have this gloss, I would substitute it with the um Essence Plumping Nudes glosses and Big Softy. Because first of all, these do not plump your lips at all. I put this against the Buxom one, if y'all haven't seen that video, and this did not plump my lips at all. Like, you didn't even feel a, a plumping sensation. It's like it had the smell of mint, but that was where it went with the plumping. That was it. That was all. It was no type of plumping in this whatsoever. But it gives a pretty color and it's a nice formula just like the um artist couture one is a nice formula so i would definitely recommend this one and this one i believe is like three to four dollars now the only thing with them is they switch out their products so it's like i don't know how long this is going to be around so just keep that in mind when you're watching this video if you see this at cvs go ahead and grab it again the color i have is o2 big softy now i know the colors aren't exactly the same but you know i was doing it for mainly like formula purposes don't expect to get the exact color i wasn't trying to do all that since we wasn't going that deep in it but um yeah so main chick side chick yikes and then last lip product i have is a classic bullet lipstick now these were just recently on sale for i think like 60 to 80 percent off because they had their one year anniversary and i had bought them um when they had a 50 percent off sale just randomly on their website so i had already got mine but this is the color angela and that's what it looks like their lipsticks are really creamy and smooth and nice and i had an issue with customer i had an issue with my coretta one coming out coretta is a more mauvey pink tone one which actually go great with this eye look but we're testing um the wayne goss set right now so we can't be doing that um but yeah the the lipstick completely came out they said it's because of like the um creaminess of it and the um what they used to make the lipstick is why it came out but i dm'd them on instagram but i know some brands don't like answer their dms right away so then i emailed them too and they got back to me both times at a very reasonable time they said they sent me out another one they sent me out a whole new one so my mom said she just wanted to keep the one that was damaged so i just let her have that one and then I kept the new one, but I thought it was really important that I mention that since I kept talking about how KKW still hasn't answered me and they still haven't to this day. So I wanted to reiterate that all brands aren't like that. And I want to give a shout out to Uma for that. So anyway, I really like their lipstick formula. It's kind of soft. So it's like something you have to get used to. I'm used to like little tougher lipsticks. So when it glided across so smoothly, I was like, oh, okay. It's really nice though. It's really, really nice. And um, I really like it. But um, if I did not have it, 
since I didn't have them for a long time, I just got those like maybe two months ago. I would recommend the, what are these? The Essence. This is my new um collection. This, they came out at the same time as Glosses did. So again, I don't know how long this is going to be out. But this color I have is number five, Legacy. And this one was the closest one I could, Angela was the closest one I could find in the lips that I have from Uma Beauty to this. Now, please be advised, this is not nearly as creamy as the Uma Beauty one. I'm just doing it more for like color purposes because I know people like nudes and this is a nice nude um shade if you will um yeah so i would um pick one of these up again i think these are only like four dollars so i think they're a great deal for the price but just don't expect them to be nearly as creamy as the uma beauty with i definitely want to um make sure that you hear me well so uma is the main chick and essence is a side chick but anyway i hope you all enjoyed this video i thought it'd be something fun and different to do plus i figure y'all wouldn't be expecting like that thumbnail like you know my side chick makeup products like what 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 is that but anyway remember you all are diamonds i will be filming part two tomorrow with all the eyeshadow palettes but you will see it as part one like i said but i'll see you guys in the next one bye hey y'all so the last two products i had for the um main chick side chick makeup video are um some blushes but i didn't have all of them here with me like i had the drugstore or like the lower end version of the stuff with the side chicks here but the main chicks were at home so i have my patrick top blushes this is she's seductive and she's adorable they are amazing i absolutely love them they give me just the feels and the vibes like i said she's seductive she's um adorable these are two of my favorite shades i did but just buy she's passionate though during the sale just because i really really like um those but if i did not have those i would be fine with my satin touch blushes from essence and satin love and satin coral so this is satin coral this is satin love as you can see the colors are even somewhat similar and the formulas are actually pretty close so um if you want to see that video i'll link it up above in the cards because i actually did a video comparing these two because um shout out to julia julia mazzucato she um had said that they were dupes for each other that nobody else had talked about so i was like but are you gonna tell some no so we can like verify because I, I want i want the evidence and the proof so then i was like okay i'll give it to the people then since you ain't never do that part of it but yeah okay anyway so um i don't i actually forgot still after i packed the other stuff to bring the other blush i was talking about it's the um ruby riches from um fenty and if i didn't have ruby riches from fenty i'd be okay with having the nabla um skin glazing and adults only if y'all remember i did a um what is that april fool's joke video with my son with these and i and it actually got thumbs down because i think people actually want to see me like do these as like you know a whole swatching situation and i'm like oh my bad so i'm like maybe i will end up doing a try on video like the real one as opposed to just being an april fool's joke but my son wanted an april fool's joke and that was the newest product i had come in at the time so i just went ahead and put that up as that and <laughs> I think people are still upset. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember, you all are diamonds. I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, if you want to see this eye look, this is going to be the 420 palette by um, Melt Cosmetics. And then this face is a almost full face of Giorgio Armani. So, yeah. Bye, guys.